Hello everyone, it's Jessica Wilkinson, your Young Adult Services Librarian, and for this week's Teen Book Talk, I'm going to talk about some of the books that we have that would be perfect to read this summer. So let's get started. The first book is If You Change Your Mind by Robbie Weber. Harry wants nothing more than to write Hollywood screenplays. He knows the first step toward achieving that goal is winning a screenwriting competition that will seal his admission into the college of his dreams. So he's determined to spend his summer free of distractions, also known as boys, and finish his script. After last year, Harry is certainly love only exists in the movies anyway. But then the cause of his first heartbreak, Grant, returns with a secret that could change everything. Not to mention, there's a new boy in town, Logan, who is so charming and sweet. He's making Harry question everything he knows about romance. As he tries to keep his emotions in check and stick to his perfect plan for the future, Harry's about to learn that life doesn't always follow a script. The next book is Breathe and Count Back from Ten by Natalia Sylvester. Veronica has had many surgeries to manage her disability. The best form of rehabilitation is swimming, so she spends hours in the pool, but not just to strengthen her body. Her Florida town is home to Mermaid Cove, a kitschy underwater attraction where professional mermaids perform in giant tanks, and Veronica wants to audition. But her conservative Peruvian parents would never go for it, and they definitely would never let her be with Alex, her cute new neighbor. She decides it's time to seize control of her life, but her plans come crashing down when she learns her parents have been hiding the truth from her. The truth about her own body. The last book I'm going to talk about today is The Song That Moves the Sun by Anna Bright. Rora is tired of being afraid, exhausted by a mind that sees everything through a prism of fear. Claudia would do anything to ease her best friend's anxiety, but lately her own life has been spiraling out of control. It should be the two of them against the world, but the rest of the world has been descending into chaos too. Every day brings increasingly alarming news, waves of accidents, surging crime statistics, natural phenomena scientists can't explain. It seems like something has gone seriously wrong with the universe. Then they meet two boys at a concert and discover that something is. Major and Amir come from one of nine secret cities of the spheres, ruled by the magic of the astrological signs. They say there is a disruption in the magical symphony that maintains the balance between the worlds, and they need help. To find the source of the disharmony, Rora and Claudia will embark on a whirlwind journey of secrets, romance, and powerful truths. Above them, each other, and two long-ago explorers named Dante and Beatrice, who were among the first to chart this course towards the stars. These are just three of the awesome summer reads that you can read during summer reading this year, so be sure to come on in and check out the books. Thank you.